everyone. I have come prepared. <laughs> Uh, so no. Uh, so first of all, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Khan sir and the KSG uh, team for inviting me here today to talk to you all. Uh, and also, I'd like to uh, thank you all wonderful ladies and gentlemen for being here and uh, came all the way here to listen to me and all the other aspirants. So uh, about my journey, it has been a very worldwide experience for me. It, uh, I, after clearing uh, the UPSC in second attempt, I got Indian Audit and Account Service. After that, I again failed the prelims. And in the fourth attempt, I have been fortunate enough to get a decent rank. Uh, and let me tell you about the fourth attempt also, because uh, you may be interested, you may be a little worried about the time management also. So uh, in the fourth attempt, I was training in Shimla. And the training used to be from 9.30 to 5.30. After that, uh, being a sports enthusiast, I used to try to play tennis for an hour or so, because I could find tennis there. And uh, I used to then uh, start my studies for uh, mains especially. So that used to be about three hours to four hours every day, that's all. So I'm not trying to tell you that you should study for only three to four hours. I'm just trying to tell you that focus and your own way of doing things will help you uh, determine your own way of achieving success. So uh, some people may need a double digit figures to study and clear the paper. Some people may not. So uh, you, the, the only thing I'm trying to tell you is devise your own way of doing things. And that is going to determine who you go on to become in your lives. And uh, now over the past few years, I've been asked by a lot of people, what message would I like to give the young aspirants like you uh, guys are here? Uh, so uh, today, I just, I, I've just about, I think, five points, which I'd just like to make quick, uh, quickly uh, about the message that I want to give you. And it is all philosophical, not strategy specific at all. So, first of all, it's very important that you find the inner So uh, what, do you, what, I, what do I mean by that is if you, uh, only if you are able to find that inner drumbeat in yourself, that you'll be able to identify the purpose of your lives. Uh, first of all, you need to identify why do you want to do it. Not that because your parents want to, you want you to do it, but because it's glamorous, but because you want to achieve that. And do. But ultimately, you have to understand that UPSC is only a means to end it, but it cannot be the end itself. So the inner drumbeat will tell you what exactly do you want to achieve in your life, probably 30 years or 40 years down the line, and then you'll be able to determine what is the best way of achieving it. Everything that we do in life should be linked to that particular inner drumbeat of yours. So please try to identify that particular drumbeat of yours, and then I'm sure you'll all excel in whatever field you are. And once uh, that is there, that drumbeat is being found by you, it doesn't matter whether you join the services in the first attempt or the fifth attempt or the seventh attempt or the tenth attempt. All that it matters is you are there, you are equivalent, and you are uh, intelligent enough to be there. You deserve that place. Uh, for example, I got myself in, uh, in the Indian administrative service in the fourth attempt. So some people may have gotten in the first attempt. So it, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't differentiate you in that sense. So uh, please, don't, uh, please don't get disheartened once you're not able to probably uh, get through the paper in the first, second, third, or whatever attempts uh, it may take you to get through the paper. Secondly, it's very important for all of you to know that individual, every individual is unique. I've already told you that uh, you need to identify your own way of doing things. One thing which needs to be known to all of you is this, that the competition is not with, uh, between her and her. The competition is between you yourself and your younger self. So what you were uh, doing yesterday and what you were able to do today, that is the difference which has been created by that particular time that you devoted to a particular thing. And that is what you should be focusing on. For example, I'll give you an example. Uh, while I was going for the inter mock interviews, uh, one of the people and a lot of people in fact told me that the frequency of your speech is very high. You speak a lot faster. You should try to slow it down. But if I try to do that, will I be myself? No. Should I try to change myself? No. Can it be uh, problematic for me? Yes. But still, I definitely, whatever you can try, to, whatever you can improve on yourself, you should try to do that, but not at the cost of your own personality. So every individual is unique, and every uh, individual is capable of carrying that uniqueness. So uh, try to do that. Third, uh, I've got three words for you, dedication, commitment, and uh, perseverance. And that is the key. And there's a very famous saying, actually, uh, practice like you never won and play like you never lost. So what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, once you adopt this approach and once in the whole preparatory uh, journey of yours, you are practicing your answer writing and all that small, small detailing revisions and all that, uh, you'll be much more comfortable while you're actually attempting the main exam. But once you go there, once you are in that exam hall for the two hours or three hours or the 45 minutes of interview, you should be definitely so much confident that I'm going to kill this exam and I'm going to be the best that I can be today. So that is how you should play, that like you never lost. You are the winner. 
so we carry that winner attitude with you also uh, it is very important for you to focus on the present forget about the past and don't worry about the future but be in the present and focus on the present and lastly i just want to tell you about the process of constant learning it is generally the case that uh, the best of us uh, get humbled by this exam it has happened to me it has happened to junaid it has happened to a lot of the people but uh, what matters is whether we are able to get ourselves to pick ourselves up and uh, attempt the journey again and get through the line pass the line cross the line so uh, don't don't get disheartened by any of this but recognize your mistakes and uh, because if you don't recognize your mistakes then how what is there to improve what is there to learn so always try to learn from your mistakes improve from your mistakes and uh, attempt that journey again and fight that battle again so uh, i'll just be uh, i'll just leave you all with one final thought uh, think of a sports person play for that badge that is on your heart and people will always remember the name that is there behind thank you